Hello everyone. Um, these are the 195 AFR Enforcer as cast um, small block Chevy cylinder heads. Uh, they cost me around 2000 I mean, sorry, 1200 with tax, uh, free shipping. Um, just got done porting them. I made another video, but there was music in the background on YouTube. Uh, I guess doesn't like that. But anyways, um, I did two banks yesterday. It took me five hours, but that five hours includes disassembling the springs, the seals, washers, spacers, and all that stuff. Um, and putting it organized in a box so they don't get uh, um, mismatched. Um, so about two and a half hours per two cylinders, I would think. I finished these in two hours today, uh, this morning. Um, just gonna go over it. I can't show you as cast because the other head, I gotta disassemble it. But um, here's what I've done so far. Hopefully you can see. I did the chamber too. I polished it a little bit. I still have to finish up. This is all burr finish inside. I still have to do uh, 60 grit on the intake and polish on the exhaust and then polish on the uh, chamber. These are 202 valve, 1.6 exhaust. 65 cc chambers and um, small block Chevy uh, 195 um, port volume. Um, now on these, I've been doing a ton of research. So there's a couple places that you don't want to touch. First is Let's see here. Just this flashlight. Right here, there's a bulge. I put a red marker. Mar mark, it's gone now because I ported it. I barely touched this though. This is where the push rod is. Um, you can see. Push rod. Okay, this is very thin, extremely thin. Don't port it. Just go around it, smooth it out, and then uh, widen it up, down, side to side, but don't do this. You'll break through immediately. It's, my guess, an eighth of an inch, or not even. Um, I can't get my mic in there. Um, so there's the port, ported already, the vein. I was going to do the hump in the middle, the wing, but it being my first one, aluminum head, I didn't want to, I might still do it, but later, um, but I just want to get them all done. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this head bolt um, right here goes through and you'll see it way down there on the right. And over here on the left, also you can break through there, but I think they make uh, sleeve, uh, sleeves for them, but I wouldn't do that. I, I, I didn't do it. Um, there's no reason for it. It flows real good as it is, as cast. I'm just trying to get a little bit more out of it. Um, let me show you the ports a little bit better. Light's not coming up good enough. There we go. Um, I open up the outside to a 1206 uh, intake gasket. 
but I left like a sixteenth of an inch on the ends up down all our all four corners because I want to port match it to my intake when it's uh, mocked up to my block when I put the heads on um, all the way at there at the, at the end you can see the head bolt bump a little bit and then obviously the push rod right here and that one's on the opposite side all right um this is all burr finished it has to be finished up on the exhaust i'll show you this over here on the exhaust end of it the exhaust end let's see if I can move this here okay on the exhaust end your intake valves on this side right you're gonna take off meat over here leave this straight so you could take meat off and the inside of the of that side of the intake port um, on this side of the so exhaust Far side of the intake valve, you're going to remove material over here, blend it. Over here, just leave it straight, just burr finish it real quick, and then you'll leave more meat so you can take off meat on the other side where the intake valve is on this side. Um, same with this one. You're going to take meat off over here your intake valve is on this side so don't touch that leave it straight take your meat off on this side away from the intake valve same with this take off meat here leave this side for the uh, intake so you can port on the other side of the wall for the intake to flow better. These exhausts already flow awesome as it is. Same. Away from the intake, port that. All right. Um, also, you're gonna see here the little ridge. On flowing on the flow for a cylinder head uh, you get your max flow from one inch on this side of the seat and one inch on that side of the seat so that has to be completely smooth see that little ridge around the whole valve same with the other ones there's a little ridge that has to be removed um, and then polished the whole chamber the exhaust has to be polished um, so no carbon sticks to it and the intake the intakes are 60 grid that's why I'm going to put them in uh, they're burr finished right now so they need to be touched up What I used is this burr tool that's for aluminum. It's about five inches long, four and a half inches long. I need a longer one because the tool might hit and nick the aluminum. So you gotta be careful when you're going in there. You want a long one so you can see what you're doing too. Your hand and the tool doesn't get in the way of your line of sight and you hit something like a valve seat on accident so you want a long one I don't like air compressor or air tools because they're too loud and too annoying uh, this is a uh, Milwaukee M12 brushless also you're gonna keep your speed on one the slower the speed the better 
you can control it better and the smoother it comes out not two or three the slow speed and these are awesome I use this at my shop so I didn't have to buy one um, I use this for everything that I've done so far and this is the 60 grid I'm gonna use for um, the intake well actually I'm gonna use it for all of them to get them pretty good 60 grid because not bird right now I'm gonna do this on the intake completely 60 uh, grid and I'm gonna polish the exhaust um, I also have a 8 inch one like this I got them from Amazon um, I could put some part numbers up later figure out how to do that um, the 8 inch one this is 6 inch the 8 inch one is awesome for intakes I ported my Victor Jr. intake um, which is right here But I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the Trick Flow R series um, single plane. It's only three ninety nine, and it looks awesome. It's six and a quarter inches deep uh, single plane, so it's gonna be awesome. Uh, this one's like four inches, but I'll run them both at the track, see which one runs better. This will probably run good at the in, on the street. And the other one better at the track. Um, I'm changing my cam, Howard's cam, flat tap it hydraulic. I don't have the specs in front of me. Um, and then um, I'm going to uh, have a 68 Camaro tubbed um, roll cage uh, power glide with a 4000 stall 383. <clears throat> I'm freshening up the motor right now. And I'll put these heads on it, and uh, I'll do a couple more videos. I still got to do the other head, and I still got to finish these. But um, these are awesome heads. I mean, if you look at the flow sheets on everybody that flows them, the professionals, um, they're about 255 on the intake at 500 lift, and about... Um, 175 on the exhaust. That's awesome for a street strip. Now, what I did is I went a little bit more. So I'm hoping I got 200 out of the exhaust at 500 lift. And about, um, I'm hoping for ooh, 290 on the intake at 500 lift. I'm hoping. Um, we'll see. I might take them to my buddy in Ennis, Texas, by the drag strip, um, to flow him. He has a flow bench. Awesome guy. Known him for years and years. He just moved down here from Chicago. Um, so it's awesome. He's only like an hour away. But after I'm done doing these, I think I'm going to take it to him to see if he can flow him for me on his uh, flow bench. And I'll get you some numbers. So basically, Took me about two and a half hours for two cylinders. Two and a half hours for these two cylinders. And they're not even done. Um, I took my time. Uh, you should too. You don't want to hit a seat. Um, and you got a big paperweight. But uh, I'm going to do some more videos about the build at the track too this coming summer. Uh, so stay tuned and um, hope this helped. Any questions, just uh, leave a comment and um, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. But uh, again, recap, 195 Enforcer small block Chevy heads, 65cc chambers, 202, 16 valves, 
um, porting work. It's pretty fun. That's actually awesome. Let me get a last look at them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there'll be more. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.